What's up YouTube? Chris here, JR Development. I wanted to bring this video to you. If you're CNC machining uh, and you don't know about this, this can help you out. Or if you're new to CNC machining and you don't have Photoshop or GIMP or whatever, this is Materialize. I've been using Materialize for a couple years now. Um, not for CNC machining, but I do a lot of 3D models in Blender and iClone. Worked in Unity for a long time. Uh, it's a game engine. And Daz Studio as well. And so I deal with a lot of um, normal maps, height maps, metallic, smoothness, roughness, AO. So uh, this is something that you can use for CNC machining too so um, I have this picture here of this eagle and you can't get you just can't get no better picture than that of an eagle other unless you catch one on top of an American flag then then that one would be pretty awesome too but so real quick if you've never used this um, I will leave a link in the description it is completely free so you don't have to pay nothing. You don't. I don't think you have. You don't sign up for anything. It's just completely free. So down here you can see your controls. Um, if you hold in on the mouse wheel, you can move this around. Uh, if you right click, you can spin it all around. Look at it at different angles. It's a really nice software. So basically, what you want to do is you want to click on this O right here. This is open. And just to open up a picture, the colored picture is your diffuse map. And so basically once you have that, just click on create. And this is uh, your height map here. So you want to create your height map. Now I've already created this height map. And this is what you're looking for. This is what you kind of want right here. The, the eagle... Uh, in the picture, his chest is pushed out, so you want the white sticking out, and his head is back, so you want the, the black in the back. And here you can switch between the height map and the original. These settings here, you have some presets here that you can use. Uh, you can mess with the sliders and just kind of get that detail you want to keep as much detail as possible and sometimes this can be a pain in the butt and other times it it'll just come right together for you um, the only reason that this popped up so perfect is because I didn't close it out even though I didn't have one there I didn't close it out and reset it but um, you can you know play with this on your own time and just kind of get what you're looking for. I've already got the one saved out. And I use CarveCo. Um, it was the only one that uh, allowed me to pay a monthly subscription. And then I switched over the yearly because it was a good deal. I mean, it was 90 bucks. And you can save these in CarveCo as, uh, as part of your reliefs and so what we're going to do is I just wanted to do this to kind of keep the video short but um, I'm going to show you real quick that if I set this as my height map and then I go ahead and create a normal map this is what my machining is going to look like uh, when it comes out and you'll notice that when we go over into CarveCo and uh, that's basically what it's going to turn out like. And you can set that as your normal. I wouldn't do it because uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to look at it and be like, well, I'm kind of particular about this. And if you look, his talons are not coming out at all. So, I mean, you kind of see it right here, but it's not what you want. So you're going to come back and just click create again on the height map. 
and they're showing up good here, but there's something that just kind of mess with the sliders and see which one brings the talons back um, a little more so you get just a little more detail on, on the talons which I'm not sure they seem to come out pretty good in carve coal when I did I believe uh, we can kind of look. Yeah, see, they they turned out okay. Um, here, you can see it quite well. I don't really see the other one. I think this is it here where he's kind of got it back on the branch. But you can see here, this is exactly, well, it was exactly how the normal map looked. Um, and it still is. I inverted it. That's why, but yeah. Um, but like I said, uh, we're going to head over into Carveco and I want to show you just how I uh, did this. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and create a new model. And it's already set to the size. I had it set as a 9 by 15. And uh, yes, I'm going to save that. So basically, uh, once you uh, come back over here, uh, once you get the height map that you're looking for, and like I said, switch back and forth between the two you work a little bit over here then hit create uh, a normal map and look at it and see what kind of changes you need to make to get the best detail and then you're going to come up here and click save click on the s and then i already have it saved out but type your file name and then click select so type out whatever you're naming it and hit select and then in carve code you're going to go to relief import and import and then you're going to bring that picture in and it's going to come in extremely huge because it's working in pixels the pictures in pixels and carve codes in inches so that's kind of that situation now when you shrink it down, you're going to kind of see it kind of pixelated, and that's just because you're reducing the size of the thing. Even though you have it to maintain the aspect ratio, it's, it's still not um, bring that up, hit F9 to center it, and want to get that just a little bit bigger. I'm going to be okay with that right there. Now we need to reduce this down. I found that when I'm working with pictures, um, you don't really need much because it on your scale, um, I found between 40 and 60 thousandths. Um, so, and that's what I'm going to make this is 60 thousandths. And I'm going to apply that. And I'm going to paste. And uh, if it gets a little pixelated, um, you can always come up here and do smoothing. I don't need to because I already did, but you don't want to go too high because then you're going to take away your detail and you don't want to do that. So, so basically there's your relief. We'll just go ahead and create a couple of relief tool paths and, and see what this is going to come out like. I'm just going to select a three millimeter end mill, definitely add ramping and uh, 
I think they're pretty heavy on their uh, step down there for a three millimeter, especially when you have a eighth inch three millimeter. So I usually pick about 0 0.08. So 80 thousandths, pretty good. Um, I haven't had any trouble with that. Our material size is going to be a 0.75 and I'm not even going to name it. I'm just going to calculate it just so we can kind of get going here. Not real worried about it machining on the top, but we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Create one more finishing. I'm going to pick a two millimeter ball nose. And I, uh, everything looks pretty good. I usually run mine on a feed rate of 80. Uh, I know my machine can handle it. And step over, it looks good. Tolerance, definitely want ramping. And calculate that also. Alright, so we'll get rid of that. Tool paths, simulate all tool paths. And basically, you got what you've seen in the normal map. So, then you just come down here, simulation, and pick out a. I thought there was some. Uh, dark oak in here, or medium oak, and go with horizontal grain, but basically, it's exactly what you see in the normal map, so, like I said, in the description, I will leave a link for bounding box like I said it's a completely free software it can save you a ton of time going through Photoshop and stuff like that trying to get your height maps done a very quick process and as you've seen I will tell you sometimes you're gonna play with them sliders forever and you're gonna be like throwing stuff trying to figure out what the heck's going on but uh, just play with it for a while and see you know just kind of jump back and forth between the height and the normal and see what you're getting and mess with the sliders till you get what exactly you're looking for and then you should be able to use that in vetric b carve i'm sure every everything should be the same so i mean your import might be a little different but uh that's just a good way to turn your pictures into height map. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Hit that like button, subscribe to help support me. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe and have a good night.